All right, guys, this is a Labor Day weekend. Today's Saturday, August 31st. I am off Monday, so uh, got a few things planned for every day. And today, it's about 6 o'clock in the afternoon. Me and my wife had to run some errands. We got to get home a little later than I thought. I was hoping to have his done by now, but I'm going to make some queso, smoked queso. First time I've ever done it. A buddy of mine's made it a couple times. We've tried it. It's been really good. So, got a block of Velveeta cheese, got a block of this queso, it's got jalapeno in it, uh, a block of cream cheese, a pack of uh, churro, I guess it's like, I'm not sure how you say that, but it's, uh, it's Mexican sausage, it's a little spicy, that's what he, he uses in his, and I've got a pound of uh, grass-fed ground beef from a local farm. My buddy's sister is dates a guy that works on this farm, and every year they butcher up a cow, and they get some of it, and uh, he gave us some last year, it's pretty good, and uh, he gave me some more this year, a couple weeks ago, so uh, I'm going to do that, that, and all this. It's going to make a pretty good bit, batch. Uh, I'm going to put it in this big pan right here. And, uh, I was going to do a double header today. I was in the woods for about four or five hours today doing some scouting, moving things around, and I think in a video I said I was going to do uh, a double header today, which I was going to do some smoked bologna. Uh, my buddy of mine, he's done smoked bologna a couple times. He's, it, we've tried it. It's really good. Um, there's not the healthiest stuff in the world you could eat. <laughs> and you could slice it and eat it right now. But uh, since we got such a late start and we had a late lunch, uh, we're not real hungry right now. It's just my wife here right now. The boys won't be home till later tonight. So uh, this will give us something to snack on throughout the week or throughout the weekend. I don't see it lasting a whole long time. Uh, but I think I might just throw this in next week. I got something else. I want to run into the smoker next week and have it done yet, so uh, I was going to do both, but I'm going to save the bologna probably. may do it one day this week or uh, one this weekend coming up maybe. We'll see, but I'll definitely get to it, but I was going to do a double header. But I'm just going to work on the queso right now, so I'm going to get this fried up real quick. Go fry the smoker up. Uh, I'm going to run it at about 200, probably about 200 degrees, because uh, this is going to be cooked, so it just basically needs everything to melt. What I've watched online, it's about 45 minutes to 200 degrees. So, uh, show you the, show you them. I'll show you why. Get everything together and show you the product. All right, guys, it's ready. Uh, well, the smoker's ready, and these things are prepped up. There is a couple items I forgot to lay out earlier. Uh, it calls for two cans of Rotella, Rotella diced uh, tomatoes with the little green chilies in them. I'm making two different batches. Cause my youngest son was allergic to ketchup when he was younger. He don't know if he still is or not. Not large as tomatoes, I think it was just something in the ketchup. But anyway, he don't like tomatoes at all. He just don't like anything tomato based or anything like that. So, I'm making a small pan for him or whoever wants to try it. And this is for us. And all the videos and stuff I watch too, is people just like put a little bit of uh, dry rub seasoning on their meat once it's cooked. And I did that. And also, my buddy does this, and uh, I've seen several videos people do this. They put like a half a beer. I uh, don't know if I'll put it in that one or not, but uh, I'm going to put a half beer in there. And uh, I like Corona, so I got all hands, so I'm going to put a half beer in there. I might put just a slab in there. I guess I'll have to take care of the rest of it. So, uh, smoker just hit 200 degrees. We're going to put them in there, and I'll start occasionally. Uh, probably about 45 minutes. So, you didn't put it. Guys, look at that beautiful sight. Finally, some rain. Much needed rain. Camera don't want to focus, but here's what I want to tell you. Yeah, in about 45 minutes, guys. It's pretty much done. We'll get to just a few more minutes. Get a little taste test. Well, guys, here's the finished product. It took right about 45 minutes. On about 205 degrees or so. Like I said, basically just had to melt the cheese. Uh, me and my wife tested it right now. It is pretty spicy. But it's got that Mexican sausage and the jalapeno cheese in it. I think next time we do it, I'm going to leave one or the other out. And try it like that. We like spicy bits. It's, it's, it's pretty hot. So if you like it really spicy, it'd be good. It'll get eat. My kids like spicy stuff too. We all do. But it is a little little warm. It tastes really good with cold beer though. <laughs> we got two different styles of chips to eat with it. So uh, like I said, this is going to be stuff for us to munch on throughout the weekend. We got a few other things, things planned. I'll get to the bologna one other day. I'm going to definitely smoke some bologna. But uh, it's definitely good. You know, first time trying it. Of course, it's pretty foolproof. It's pretty easy. Pretty much just fry the meat up and then melt everything together. So uh, anyway, I'll put this. Uh, I'll see what I'm gonna do uh, tomorrow and uh, Monday with the pork butt, and I'll uh, I'll post a video probably next Sunday. 
Well guys, it's uh, Sunday, September 1st, and I know I've done these uh, get some smash burgers on the grill. I know I've done them in the past, uh, another video, but uh, got some seasoned fries over here in the smoker room. Got some onions, we'll go on the grill here in a minute. And my younger son likes the griddles. I know I've done a video on smash burgers before, but the quesadillo video, uh, queso video that I made yesterday was not very long. So I figured I'd go ahead and just throw a few minutes of this in here. Spice burgers, I'll show you the end is all up here in a little bit when we get ready to eat. And then tomorrow I'm going to do some pork pork. I'll go ahead and make a show a little bit of that tomorrow too. I've done that in the past. I'll go ahead and show it tomorrow just to uh, make the video a little bit longer. Hope it'll be up next Sunday. Thanks for watching. Here's dinner. Got some tomato, onions, and burger sauce. Time to dig in. Alright guys, it's going to Labor Day. Uh, got a just shy of nine pound pork butt going in. Just going to finish up this video this week. Like I said, I've done pork butts in the past. I was, the queso video wasn't very long, so I thought I'd throw a little bit extra in there. Uh, I am doing something a little different this, this time. I'm using a different uh, rub. This is uh, recommended of me, and uh, I've already tried it on a few things. It's pretty good. So, smoker just got up to temp. It's uh, about 11.30, so uh, got about six hours ahead of us. Yeah, we're about three and a half hours in. Pretty good, about halfway there. All right, guys, I just pulled out a few minutes ago, and I went and uh, took a half a pan for about two hours now. It's been about really right a six-hour cook. It is done. Everybody's getting hungry. My wife had not eat all day because she's waiting on this. I'm going to go ahead and end this video here because we're just making pork nachos. I've done that before. So, guys, appreciate y'all. Appreciate you all guys uh, watching. I hope everybody had a good Memorial Day. I mean, uh, Labor Day weekend. Thanks for watching.